What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Jonah Paolo and today we are going to review the ID Cooling SE224 XT-RGB. I bought this cooler in Shopee last month for 1,625 pesos or equivalent to 32 US dollars. I bought this cooler to replace the stock cooler on my AMD Ryzen 5 3600. First, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that's inside the box and after that we will see how the cooler performs. I apologize for not filming the installation of this cooler. Instead, you can watch the video from the official channel of ID Cooling in the link down below. Starting from the outside of the box, we can see the picture of the cooler and the specifications. The ID Cooling SE 224XT is compatible with different CPU sockets. As you can see in this side of the box, it is compatible with 6 Intel sockets and 1 AMD socket, which is the AM4 socket that the Ryzen 5 3600 uses. This cooler is also compatible with different motherboard softwares for the RGB lighting, which includes Asus AuraSync, Gigabyte's RGB Fusion, MSI's Mystic Light Sync, and ASRock's Polychrome Sync, but you can also use the included remote in the box. Now let's see what's inside the box. The first thing in the box is the heatsink, which has four copper heat pipes, and an RGB top plate that lights up. Next is the 120mm RGB fan, and then some mounting brackets for the Intel and AMD sockets. Also included in the box are some instructions for installation and the RGB connections. There are also screws, nuts, and standoffs for mounting. Next are the fan clips. And then the metal backplate for Intel motherboards. And then the RGB controller for the fan and the top plate. And finally, we can see the included thermal paste by ID Cool. I don't have an installation video but you can click the link down in the description for the official channel of ID Cooling and their installation of the SE224 XT. For the thermal testing methodology, I am going to be using Cinebench R23 to measure the load temperature of my CPU. I am going to be using it to see the maximum temperature. I am also going to use the CPU ID HW monitor to see the idle temps of my CPU. A few minutes later, after running the Cinebench R23 multi core test for 10 minutes, my Ryzen 5 3600 had a score of 9153. It reached a maximum temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. Even when gaming, the temperature of the CPU rarely reaches 70 degrees. It is usually around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. On idle, the temperature stays at 38 degrees Celsius, which is very reasonable since it is pretty hot in my room. I don't have any air conditioner and I only use an electric fan. I think that the ID Cooling SE 224XT RGB is a very good CPU cooler for its price. At around $30, this cooler has a lot to offer. It provides more than adequate cooling for your CPU and also adds aesthetic to your PC because of its RGB lighting. If you are looking for a budget cooler to cool your CPU, I suggest buying the ID Cooling SE 224XT RGB because of the value that it gives for your money. And that is my review for the ID Cooling SE 
224XT RGB. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this.